This 4 minute video will demonstrate how Avi's traffic management fabric spans across multiple clouds to help scale applications in response to user traffic. First, a quick review of Avi's architecture. The core building block is a modern distributed architecture with two components, a central controller and distributed service engines. Together these form a single elastic fabric. The service engines can be provisioned as bare metal appliances, virtual machines, containers, or even in the public cloud. The controller is integrated with some of the most commonly used management and orchestration solutions today, such as vCenter, OpenStack, Docker, AWS, Ansible, etc. This allows the controller to automate the provisioning of service engines as well as backend applications if needed. Finally, the service engines collect real time telemetry on application performance. These insights are available centrally on the controller as well as used by the fabric to scale itself out or scale applications as needed. In the demo today, you will see an on-premise data center running a simple green application. Avi's Fabric provides load balancing for this application and the controller provides insights into application performance and utilization. AWS is configured as a spillover cloud for this application to be used as needed. As the application sees an increase in load, Avi's controller spins up more instances of application and service engines till there is no more capacity on-prem. Then Avi controller spins up additional application and service engines in AWS and sends spillover traffic to AWS. This is a classic cloud bursting use case where Avi measures application utilization in real time and scales out to the most optimal site uh, based on user SLAs or business rules. Now let's watch the demo on a live system. I have an application in uh, the, my first data center called VMware VIP Site 1. In Site 1, I've got a couple of VMs that are providing and serving this application. I also have another site which has called Site 2, which also has the same application in a couple of VMs being served out of the second data center, and then a third AWS based site with a single VM. If I go out and access uh, this particular VM, what I will see is that the fabric directs me to one of the global locations and serves this very simple web page. Now let's go ahead and start some traffic to this application. This is a moderate amount of traffic and as I do this, the system sends this traffic primarily to one of the two on-prem data centers and we can see that here. If I move to the AWS data center, you'll see that it hardly receives any traffic because the on-prem data centers are more than capable of handling this load. Now let's increase the load to make things interesting. Immediately, you'll see the on-prem data center sends off a signal that says, I'm saturated. We need to send this traffic elsewhere. The system then takes the overflow traffic and starts redirecting it towards away from this data center and towards AWS. And you can see that here that the traffic to AWS goes up substantially. Not only that, the system detects that I'm going to now need more web servers in AWS. So it spins up, Avi spins up a backend application web server in AWS and then automatically adds it to the pool servers, which you can see here. Thus, increasing the overall capacity in AWS and ensuring that the application stays up. Thank you for watching. For more information, you can head over to our website or watch more videos on this topic and many, many more on our YouTube channel.